it is a really pretty day out here. So since the wind isn't too bad and the weather's good, we're gonna try and get um, our makeshift high tunnels up. And Callan is tilling up the garden again. Um, I wanna get it tilled one more time before we plant in it, but hopefully the weather will change and keep warming up so we can get our plants moved outside, get the high tunnel finished, and all of our garden prep done. So he's out there building the high tunnel over here. So good things happening. Soft food today, Tasha, was the answer. 
It's been a crazy few days around here and all of our projects have taken a lot longer than we initially thought they were going to. Like the high tunnel over there. Um, we finally got out here and started really working on it today. Um, but thank you, Ben. Huckleberry having her babies as fast and as soon as she did really just kind of threw us off. So we've been doing babies for the last couple days um, trying to get them on the bottle, getting them ready to go to their new homes. Two of them are already sold. Um, the other two hopefully will go to new homes pretty soon. Um, but they're going to stay with mom for a little bit. So we're getting the high tunnel done. I've got to water the garden. I got the baby bunnies. Um, Lucas and I weighed them clouds babies and pulled them out finally got the goat pen done so there's just a lot of projects going on this week um, it's been fun it's been busy it's been crazy I am tired we are all worn out we're all feeling it this week um, but the work goes on and there's still more to do spring is here which means We've got weeding to do all over the property. Um, we've got to get a few other projects done and going. We're getting pigs here pretty soon. We're going to get four of them. Uh, I encourage anyone who wants to live like this, start small. We started with chickens and now look where we're at. Um, it's full blown into, you know, the rabbits, the chickens, the pigs, the goats. We have the garden and it's great. Um, I love it. It can get a little stressful at times, but it's definitely worth it. It's worth all the cost and the stress and everything that goes into it. We're getting ready to start another project today. So it's like a five in one day. I'm gonna be beat by the end of this. Is that darling? Good girl. So the ditch here, um, we don't wanna have to weed eat it anymore. It is 
a job all in itself. And there's a lot of it. We have this side and then we have all down there um, where the ditch bank is that runs completely through our property. So we're going to, we're gonna get rid of this car. It's my mom's old car. And um, we're gonna fence this in. So we're working on getting a couple of railroad ties that we're gonna put in the middle. Let's see, right over here. And then one down here at the end by this bridge. And we'll put up a couple of gates and basically we'll just let the goats um, in here during the day and let them eat it all down so that we don't have to weed eat it anymore. So it'll make life a little bit easier here. I also made sure when we planted our garden, we planted it a little farther away from where that fence line is going to be so that they don't eat everything because they will like to snack on it. And now that we got the high tunnel done, we've brought in a little bit of extra dirt. We're going to mix that in. We've got um, some straw that we used over the winter for the goats that we're going to use to put on top of it to help keep the weeds down. Also uses a little bit of fertilizer, slowly soak into the ground, and we're going to get our tomatoes planted in here. So it'll be exciting. It's a good day. I would have done it. <laughs> and then you would have been like, I'm going to kill you. Uh huh. I would have been, oh, that daughter of mine.